Jacob Marley was true to his word. That night, Scrooge was visited by three spirits. With the spirit of Christmas past, he relived the events of his youth that had transformed him into the miserly and selfish man of business that he had become. Then the spirit of Christmas present showed him how even the poorest of the poor, including his clerk, Bob Cratchit, kept the spirit of Christmas alive through unbounded generosity and goodwill towards all. And finally, the spirit of Christmas yet to come revealed the path of loneliness and isolation that awaited Scrooge if he could not change his ways and open his heart to the true meaning of Christmas. I don't know what day of the month it is. I don't know how long I've been among the spirits. I don't know anything. I'm quite a baby. <laughs> Never mind, I don't care. I'd rather be a baby. <laughs> hello, hello there. <laughs> Scrooge was checked in his transports by the churches ringing out the lustiest peals he had ever heard. Running to the window, he opened it and put out his head. What's today? Eh? What's today, my fine fellow? Today? Why, it's Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day? I haven't missed it. The spirits have done it all in one night. They can do anything they like. Of course they can. Of course they can. Hello, my fine fellow. Hello. And you know the poulterers in the next street but one in the corner? I should hope I did. Oh, an intelligent boy, a remarkable boy. Uh, do you know whether they've sold the prize turkey that was hanging up there? And uh, not the little prize turkey, the big one. What, the one as big as me? Now, what a life of boy. It's a pleasure to talk to him. Uh, yes, my buck. It's hanging there now. Is it? Uh, go and buy it. <laughs> Are you serious? No, no, I mean, no, no. Go and buy it and tell them to bring it here that I may give them directions where to take it. Come back with the man and I'll give you a shilling. I'll come back with him in less than five minutes and I'll give you half a crown. Oh, I'll send it to Bob Cratchit. He shall know who sent it. It's twice the size of Tiny Tim. Scrooge dressed himself all in his best and at last got out into the streets. Scrooge regarded everyone with a delighted smile. He looked so irresistibly pleasant in a word that three or four good-humored fellows said, Good morning, sir. A Merry Christmas to you. And Scrooge said often afterwards, Of all the blithe sounds I have ever heard, those were the blithest to my ears. Scrooge was better than his word. And from that time on, it was always said of Scrooge that he knew how to keep Christmas well, if any man alive possessed the knowledge. May that be truly said of us and all of us. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, God, God bless, bless us, everyone. everyone.